Giannis's teammates, Drew Holiday, and Chris Middleton are on a plane, fresh off the parade. Still got that champagne hangover. The champagne hangover is one of the worst hangovers too. Fresh off the parade, still smelling like champagne. They are on a plane flying to Japan to participate in the Olympics with none other than their previous finals foe, Devin Booker. They are available to play Sunday morning against France for Team USA. What do you think about this tight turnaround, fresh from the parade, fresh from the finals, going straight to Team USA? I'm happy for each of those guys who continue to ascend in their careers in different ways. Devin Booker, as a young player, had a 70-point game, a 59-point game, and in his first postseason was outstanding, leading the Phoenix Suns to the finals. Nobody can say that they predicted that they would be there. Now, for Drew Holiday, he was an all-star early in his career with the Philadelphia 76ers, regained that level of play with the Pelicans, became a top-flight defender and two-way player, now goes to the Milwaukee Bucks, becomes the missing piece and a champion, and in particular as a, an, an improved three-point shooter. Chris Middleton, drafted by the Detroit Pistons in the second round, right? Now all of a sudden, a surefire, consistent all-star playing alongside Giannis, the second best player on the championship team, and a legitimate closer. I know and I appreciate the fact that they want to bring us the gold medal. And I know that it's a great opportunity for each of those guys. But we've crowned two NBA champions in nine months. Usually we crown one NBA champion in 12 months. The regular season calendar is about to get reset, which mm -hmm. means training camp is going to basically start happening late September, early October, and then we're going to have a full 82 game season, not a condensed 72 game season. So what I hope we're not hearing, which I believe we may be hearing as the season starts to progress, is low management for all three of those guys because they decided, and rightfully so, it's a great opportunity to go play for gold. And by the way, we actually need them. We need them. We need them. Y'all saw the early expeditions. Y'all saw players be in and out of the lineup due to COVID protocol. We actually need them. So selfishly, I want the gold medal as an American. So yes, I would love to see them in uniform. But if I was overseeing the Bucks or the Suns, I would want those guys to actually be resting and getting ready for the next season. So you do not like the idea that they could be available, they could be playing on Sunday after a long flight, after a parade in Japan. No, no, because psychological, emotional, and physical fatigue is a real thing. You ever heard of something called jet lag? Didn't you just say that they were going to Tokyo? That ain't mm -hmm. a short flight. And today's Friday, and didn't you say the game is Sunday? morning huh and so again i'm happy that they're going to help us win gold but if i was an owner of one of those teams i would hope that those guys would be resting and getting themselves ready for the next season but as team usa we need them we really need them thanks for watching espn on youtube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to espn plus right now